This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better wood planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the Ford Capri. Well, uh, but uh, today I'm gonna show you guys the charging curve of the Ford Explorer. They are basically identical cars. Same battery, same drivetrain, same power, uh, almost same dimension. And uh, I, when I did 1000 km challenge and some other tests with the, the, the Explorer, I haven't tested the Capri that much. I figured out, I found out that um, it charges faster than before. So I've done now a charging test and we can compare against other cars that uses the same battery or supposedly almost the same battery from the MEB platform. So you see that um, I compared it against ID7. This was also shot uh, last year and then the Q4 was shot uh, before that. But um, ID7 actually charges faster than the Explorer. And then starting temperature on uh, both these cars, at least to the, um, and to the left and the middle, they are roughly the same. And then the, the Q4, I didn't use car scanner then, but that was like the oldest uh, charging curve. And also, I'm not sure about the battery. Uh, the Q4 can only hit around 175, but at least Explorer can hit 185 eventually. But ID7 hits 190. But uh, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, but you will see that the battery temperature on the ID7 goes eventually a bit high. Um, but but uh, it can't just be a five kilowatt difference here. But uh, now, okay, the, the ID7 got a nice lead. You see, it's already at 44% versus 42 ish on the Explorer, and then Q4 is only at 40%. But uh, just pay attention to the battery temperature because ID7 will eventually replicate. Uh, it goes beyond 50 degrees Celsius and then it replicates. It was also tested in around, uh, no, it was, I think it was uh, March, yeah, March last year, March 2024. Wait, was it 2024? Okay, I'll have to check the data. But um, it was during March, that was important. It's not, it's not it's like soaking hot outside, but it did overheat the ID7. But the Explorer keeps it at 49 degrees Celsius. It doesn't go that much higher. And that seems to uh, not, I mean, that seems to result in no rapid gate and also actually a flatter curve. We see at 62%, you can still maintain around 120 kilowatt, whereas the ID7 speed kind of plummets. Well, it doesn't plummet, but it gets a noticeable dip compared to the, the new curve now. And actually, when I tested, um, it was uh, an ID4 last year, last spring, or was it summer? Uh, that ID4 press car actually had a kaput AC unit. I noticed that it was not cooling much in the cabin. And also when we fast charge, I noticed that the cooling didn't work that well. Well, actually, that was the thing. It worked surprisingly well, that ID4 with kaput AC, because, um, well, it's not uh, shown here on, on the ID7, but um, uh, you could, you, if you rewind, you can see that in the Explorer run that initially the AC was not running, the auxiliary consumer power was not running. So it actually heats up the battery on purpose until you get close to 50 degrees Celsius, and then it starts cooling down. But then I already hit 45 degrees, sorry, 45, 40, 45 percent on that 1000 kilometer challenge, and I could proceed. And then after I started driving, it actually cooled down only on only fans, you know, no AC compressor was working. Uh, okay, what I'm saying is that it um, uh, seems like the, the later or the late, some of the latest generation ID battery or whatever you should call it from in, in the MEB platform, the 82 kilowatt hour has improved cooling so good that you can do a 1000 kilometer challenge in spring, summer and not replicate that much. And this could be the, result, the reason why the Explorer to the left can maintain this nice speed and not replicate versus the ID7. I'm not sure what happened to a Q4, probably also replicated. It seems like um, Volkswagen engineers or VAG, I don't know wh which department is, they maybe uh, they figure out what happened and they fix this. I haven't paid attention, but I think the Explorer have hit 90% first, but we're going to go for 100% even. But just look at the big difference here. The Q4 haven't even hit 90%, but the Explorer is getting close to 100%. And even past 90%, it can maintain nice and flat charging curve. This is, this is really useful because it means that in case you have to go far in a place without uh, DC fast charging, you could even charge to 100% with OK speed, right? Yeah, that's funny. Right? Uh, there. Q4 hit 90% <laughs> when Explorer hit 99%. That is amazing. Wow, this is just amazing. We have, of course, on purpose not included 800 volt cars or the Chinese cars because then, the, 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 okay, then 
then that that's not fun. But also, uh, yeah, the HV battery energy content on, at the bottom there, Explorer, 78.7 uh, kilowatt hour. You will see that the ID7 did not hit that high uh, energy content. So the, the previous gen was supposed to be 77 kilowatt hour, whereas the latest gen is 79 kilowatt hour. So we have two more kilowatt hour versus before. So um, yeah, uh, interesting how it works. Okay, now uh, I'm not gonna watch the Q4 uh, finish to 100%. But um, also many times when uh, I have this uh, charging test, many people ask me, hey, but how long did it take? Well, uh, there is already a count at the Ionity screens. As long as there is an Ionity screen, you can see how many minutes we have charged. But also I always use 10 times uh, playback speed. So you can just look, well, at least in the video, you can just multiply by 10 and you know roughly how long it took. So yeah, there's a counter there, 52 minutes it had been. But uh, let's uh, look at the charging curve instead. So the red line here is the Explorer, and then the blue line, yeah, as we've seen in the video previously, is that uh, it hits higher speed. But then eventually here at around 50%, that's also when it hits around 51, 52 degrees Celsius. And then you see a noticeable dip on both these. So like I mentioned in Q4, possibly also hit 52 degrees Celsius, and that's why it dipped here. It actually dips before the ID7. I'm not sure if that is because it was warmer outside or what was the case, possibly. But uh, the Explorer, just look at the red line here. The Explorer li line here is possibly what it should be. If you look at uh, other charging curves, uh, Tesla or uh, some of the other brands, you will see this nice and gentle curve without any wear dips, right? So this dip here is without doubt because of thermal throttling. And now they fixed it and they even made it better because you can say that, yeah, here, the blue line, it kind of recovered, right? After um, uh, the, the throttling or, yeah, because eventually the charging speed is lower or charging power is lower and then you can actually, uh, yeah recover and go back to okay temperature but um, with the red line it seems like they figure out and allow the battery to charge at even higher speed than before so it's, it's flat than before so and then, what happened to the q4 and huh q4 yeah but this is this is progress right yeah this is nice it means that the german brands they are almost catching up with the chinese <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.